Thank you. Janelle Pineda is a poet, activist, and educator. She is a founding editor and translator for La Pistua magazine, a recently released multilingual arts literature and culture magazine created by Salvadoran writers. A Macondista and Marshall Scholar, Janelle will be pursuing dual master's degrees in creative writing and migration studies in the UK. Welcome, Janelle. How English came to grandma. English first met grandma in Salvador as she cut and peeled mangos, sandia, and mame. Before the war, the Beatles blared from the small radio in her kitchen and 20-something-year-old Elba danced to a hard day's night, singing English into existence in a place it never should have arrived. Like a work of brujeria, English enamored her into thinking the US perfect. For grandma, everything Americano was soaked in English, and she wanted to bathe in that language's ocean, no matter how bloody she pretended it didn't look. English la conquistó a pura paja, won her over with its haughty looks, meaningless words and chanting all the same. English stuck its tongue down her throat and then bewitched her feet to follow it. Grandma tells me she fled in search of it, traced its footprints up the isthmus to the place of its power, Los Estados Unidos, the obvious place to go, the place where everybody ended up, whether they wanted to or not, because come on. Where else would they go but to the place to which they all belonged? No. I don't mean they belonged there. I mean they belonged to. All this to tell you the story about how grandma still does not speak English. How she tried wrestling it once, but it twisted her tongue. So instead, she clings to her title of grandma and never abuela, her I love yous instead of te quiero, her Beatles lyrics, her thick accented yes ma'am and right away ma'am, from her job cleaning houses in Woodland Hill, Paz Avina, sometimes even Beverly Hill, her Spanglish and her I so sorris, because if she knew anything about English, it's how much that language demands her to apologize. In another life, the war never happened, but somehow you and I still exist. Like obsidian, we know only the memory of lava and not the explosion that created us. Forget the gunned down church, the burning flesh, the cabbage soup. There is no bus, there is no border, there is no blood. There are only sweet corn fields and mango skins, the turquoise house and clotheslines, a heaping plate of pasteles and curtido waiting to be disappeared into our bellies. In this life, our people are not things of silences, but whole worlds bursting into breath. Everywhere, there are children, playing freely, clothed, and clean. Mozote does not mean massacre, and flowers bloom in every place shoes are left behind. My name still means truth, this time in a language my mouth recognizes in a language I know how to speak. My grandmother is still a storyteller, although I am not a poet. In this life, I do not have to be. This poem somehow still exists. It is told in my mother's voice, and she makes hurt dissolve like honey in hot water, manzanilla warming the throat. You and I do not find each other on another continent grasping at each other's necks in search of home. 
we meet in a mercado. My arms overflowing with mame and danonas, and together we wash them in river water. We watch sunset fall over a land we call our own and do not fear its taking. I bite into the fruit, mouth sucking seed from substance, pulling its veins from between my teeth. Our laughter echoes from inside the cave, one we are free to step outside of. We do not have to hide here. We do not have to hide anywhere. A torogos flies past my face, and I do not fear its flapping. Thank you.